What is up, guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Don't Starve Shipwrecked. My name is Splattercat. Happy to have you here today as we find yet another island that leaves us wanting. This is unfortunately not the island that I wanted. We may end up stuck over here. I don't like it, and it's not... Oh, there is a bottle over there. Huh, I left it behind. Well, every island we've been on so far has, like, a real infestation of monkeys. And unfortunately, it's making it very, very difficult to do my job, which at this point is don't starving, just like I said on the box. And so anyways, I'm not going to dig that treasure right there. The reason being, full inventory, not going to help me. So I don't want to leave it on the ground. I don't want to risk it getting blown out to sea once winter gets here. I just don't have time to deal with it, and therefore we're continuing on, continuing on. I will probably head east, I think. I don't like this island very much over here. This island does not endear itself to me. It would require entirely too much sandbagging to get this place fixed up. It does have a lot of sticks and grass, though. Eh. Let's keep looking. The last couple episodes have been delightfully fun because we've been able to, like, please don't know. Stay away, Stink Ray. They look so cuddly and cute, too. I just want to pet them. I just want to pet their stupid faces, their stupid, cute faces. Like, why are you so cute? I am going to pet the cuteness off of your face. It's all fluffy. I like animals. I like animals a lot. My next animal is almost undoubtedly going to be a Welsh Pembroke Corgi. I don't think I can bring another animal into the house without my girlfriend vetoing it and it becoming a Welsh Pembroke Corgi. I, I don't think I could get away with it. Like, she's been barking up this tree for a long, long, long time. And I'm pretty sure that if I come home with another kitten, she's going to kill me. So she's not a cat person. She doesn't like cats, like, at all. She thinks they're okay. Like, she will tolerate them, like, on the couch with her. And she enjoys actually making them upset. Like, she enjoys cuddling them until they get angry and bite her. But other than that, in general, aside from perturbing the animal, she does not like cats that much. First girl I've ever met that doesn't like cats, weirdly enough. Never met a girl who doesn't like cats until her. Dudes? Yeah, dudes are pretty standard. Kind of depends what kind of house they grew up in. If they grew up in, like, a hyper-masculine house where they always had dogs but no cats because their dad hated cats for some weird, irrational reason, then, yep, yeah, I met a lot of dudes that don't like cats, and their dads are all like that. Their dads are like, I just don't like cats. I'm like, why? Have you ever had one? No. Well, how do you know you don't like them, then? Well, I know that I... <laughs> I don't need to know. I know already. I don't need to do research. I understand that I don't like cats because my father didn't like cats and his father didn't like cats. Obviously, there's a reason in there somewhere. I love cats. I have my moments with Ollie where I strongly rethink that decision, and I'm like, maybe I don't like cats as much as I proclaim. But Ollie's not too bad. He's not too bad. He's getting better. The older he gets, he's still pretty destructive, and he still breaks just about everything. Every day he goes on like a real sovereign kitty quest to destroy something. And it's because he's understimulated. I buy him toys, though. It's just he's never interested in the toys. He's always interested in improvised toys. Things like the little twisty ties that go around the bread bag or whatever. He likes stuff like that. We're not going to find anything. I'd probably just go east from here. We're going to have to build a new raft pretty soon, too. We're going to have to settle. we got a couple days left until winter's going to get here in two weeks. And we need to be established by, like, the time that gets here. We can work through the winter a little bit. The winter is not so bad now that I know what to expect. Looks like there's a sandbar down this way. I always thought that'd be a cool name for a bar that was on the beach. I'm sure somebody's done it. The sandbar. I always wanted to own a bar, though, too. But I don't want to, like, bartend, and I don't really want to, like, do anything other than manage it. Like, I'll manage the books, and I'll do the numbers. But other than that, I'm not so enthused about it that I want to do all the busy work myself. Somebody once told me that part of being a rich guy is like learning how to like not do work while at the same time doing all the managerial tasks. I don't know. Managerial tasks are work. Managing stuff can be kind of difficult, especially if the things you're managing are unruly. Ollie! See, I just got to put him on notice. He hunkered. He was like, what did I do now? He doesn't understand. I can't decide if he's super smart or if he's super dumb. Like, because sometimes he does things that are just, like, super clever and intelligent, and then other times he does things where I'm just like, there's no excuse for this. This is beyond dumbassery. The dumbassery here that has been put on display is concerning Sir Ollie. Ollie Pop. I think there might be an island right here, maybe. 
If there is, I would like to get into shore of it, like, right now, before anything else goes wrong. I mean, we're almost out of light. Uh, this might have been a mistake. Nope, there's an island right there. We made it! We survived, Nerdcastle. We made it another day. I really would... I've heard some people have gotten their games up to day 150 or so, once they got a hang of the super cray-cray volcano season, once they got a feel for it. The asylum looks kind of nice. It's going to depend largely on whether or not there's monkeys all over the place, but we'll figure it out right after this. So let's go ahead and grab some grass while we wait for the night to end. The night is closed in. Perfecto. Awesome. Sweet potato, how would you like to be eaten? I found a mean potato one time. Mean potato wasn't worth keeping around. I need to get rid of some of this singular stuff that's just laying around in my inventory, eating up space. Eat that morcel real fast, and then we'll also eat a little bit of that cooked egg. We've got a bunch of plantains, too, or a bunch of... They call them bananas, so I'm going to go with bananas, but that'll help out a little bit, too. Oh, look at that. When she stands on the fire, her sanity goes up. Huh. Well, that would have been a good thing to know. Yeah, keep that sanity ticking on up. We need to make a chimney pretty soon. Let's have a look around for monkeys, though. If I have to deal with monkeys long term, I don't know if that's something that I can swallow. The monkeys, they fill me with irrational anger. The second that I see them, I just start getting angry. Like, these goddamn monkeys! Monkeys! Stop eating off my berry... Monkey, why are you eating off my berry bush right now? Because it's good! Well, please stop that, monkey. Why? Poke, poke, po I'm poking you. I am a monkey and I am poking you in the side of your leg, poke. If you do something about it, I will fling shit at you. I will sling so much shit. Actually, this island, while not incredibly populated, there's not a lot of stuff here. But... I'm thinking that might be a good thing. I'm thinking that might give us a solid option. Yeah. I think we're going to go for it. This island seems good enough. It's not amazing, but it's calm. And the nice thing that we have going for us on this island is that the stuff that we need is on all the surrounding islands and so we don't have to travel far to get into bed with any of the supplies that we need I'm assuming there's probably another island up in here somewhere too it's a pretty large black space for there to be nothing the coral reef is a little bit far away I think that's the only thing thus far that concerns me about the about the situation but that just means when we go over there we just gotta harvest a bunch of coral while we're in the neighborhood and then we just get 20 coral and not worry about it for a while I'm going to get started over here. Let's go ahead and put down our science machine. Bam! Science machine accomplished. The next thing we're going to need, we need to refine stuff for sure. I'm going to eat these petals too because why not? I am going to need many, many things. So many things. I'm going to convert our second stack of wood into boards. Electrical doodads might be helpful. We don't have a lot of stone, but there are rocks around here. And I think I can make electrical doodads out of gold and those, yeah. So there we go. We'll make our electrical doodads. We'll upgrade straight to the alchemy engine right now so that that's finished off and doesn't need to be worried about any further. The next thing that I need to do is I need to build a hammer and break that down, but I'm going to leave it standing for right now because we got other stuff to worry about. I now need chests. That's the next thing that I need. Lots and lots of chests. I will also probably replant a couple of trees over here before I do anything else. But we do have a mangrove over here. Like, we've got a pretty good mangrove going on. And so I'm hoping if it's large enough, it may have water beefaloes. If it has water beefaloes, that'll be absolutely fabtabulous. These big trees often have snakes inside of them. Yes, that was what had... Oh, shit, my weapon broke. Well, that's not good. Now we're punching snakes. 
Huh, that's not how you kill a snake with a shovel. I hate to tell you. That's actually, a shovel's a great weapon for killing snakes. I don't know if people know about this, you just use it to behead them, basically. You gotta get the jump on them, though. In general, I leave animals alone, unless they're in a location where they could hurt friends or family. And then if there's a rattlesnake on the property... Take the old shovel out and ka-chunk off with his head. It's not his fault. But... Can't risk somebody getting bit. Neighbor got bit by a rattlesnake last year. It's pretty bad. She... I forget what she was doing. She got bit doing... I think she just didn't see it. It bit... No, it bit her in the hand, though. She dropped her keys or something like that when she was out in the field. She leaned down to pick it up and it bit her on the hand. It wasn't her fault. She, was doing, she wasn't doing anything dumb or anything like that. It just kind of happened. Like, she just got surprised and bit and that's all there was to it. Not a fun experience, though. She said it was about five minutes before her joints started to feel real achy and stopped working real well. She said by the time she got in the ambulance and was being driven to the hospital, she couldn't talk anymore because she was swelling up. Her hands, she said they were the size of balloons. It was gnarly. It's not a good experience. Not a good experience. I'm going to plant some more trees just so we have some sustainability over here. Not going to use these for fire fodder or anything else. This island is lacking, and so we want to be very, very careful about the stuff that we use up while we're in the area. We, we want to make sure that we're replanting and stuff like that. Otherwise, we're going to get ourselves into some pretty major issues down the line. Did I just hear a dog? Thought for a moment that I heard a hound. I think it's just me swapping my gear. I don't think there's actually hounds around here. We should be all right. I will probably use some of these vines. How many vines do I have? Not a ton. Okay, that's good. I'd like to get a secondary stack of wood going because we have a lot of woodworking related projects. I'd like to get five or six chests up and running. On top of the chest, I'm going to start making armored boats real soon too. Because the armored boats are going to be useful for later once we get to the next season or the summer season. Got that right there. Looking good. Hunger's holding out. The next thing we're going to do after that is we're going to go get a shit ton of... Oh, God. I'm going to go get a shit ton of limestone. Perfect. Another dead snake. No gland yet, though. I keep waiting for the poison gland to drop so that I can... So that I can make myself up some loverly anti-venom. That'll be good enough for right now. I mean, anti-venom's cool. Uncle Venom's even better, but... Gotta watch out for Uncle Venom. He's always looking for an excuse to spit hot fire. He's been working on his rhyme game for a long time. We gotta make a real campfire is our problem over here. We are also lacking in a bit of stone, but I can solve that by the end of the night. So we'll put the campfire right there. That's looking great. Let me see how many boards I can get mashed out. We have enough wood to last a while. That should be good enough for a couple of chests. So we'll make one right there. We'll make one right there. Let's fry off some of this little stuff in here and we'll eat our dinner because we're looking pretty hungry too. Tummy's all grumbly. I don't know if the sweet potatoes regrow. If they do, that'd be great. We may have some short-term food problems on this island, but once I get the farming up and running, we should be all right. I'm going to try and get five or six crops going by the end of this because we've got a really, really good supply of just about everything we need. Eat those up real quick. We'll cook the sweet potatoes so that we're clearing out inventory space. That'll be great. And while we wait for nightfall, we gather up even more grass because we're going to need probably 10, 15 coils of rope to last us long term. I'm not going to go all in on it right now, but it's something that would be useful. Meanwhile, I'll probably have her just hold on to this. And while I'm in the neighborhood, we're going to lose a bit of sanity doing this, but it's not going to be too bad. Just kind of weave back and forth so that I can accomplish tasks while I'm in here. I think that being very, very efficient with my time is going to be a major part of of us surviving the next time we go to summer. Like, we just gotta have a lot of stuff around that's ready to go. Alright, cool. We've gone ahead and we've gotten rid of all the grass around there that we could ever need. I'm gonna go ahead and fix up my sanity real fast. Yeah, if she stands on the fire, she gets sanity back. That's sweet. That'll be helpful. 
I'm not going to use up too much wood right now because we are most assuredly deficient. Nitra, gold coins, niter, snake skins, all the stuff that I really don't want to carry around with me. We've got a bunch of limpets, so I'll cook those off right now too so that we got travel food. I think the other thing that we probably want to do is we want to get a crock pot up and running. We want to get a shelter up and running. All of those would be immensely useful. Have I researched the hammer yet? Okay, so the hammer's fine. We aren't going to need to shave anything. You can shave the beefaloes later on, I think. Let me take the hammer real fast. And we're just going to get rid of this science machine. Because some of the goodies inside of it would be helpful to me. And now that I have emptied out my pockets. My next plan... Yeah, my next plan is going to be we're actually going to head out. That's the best thing that we can do right now. I don't have a machete anymore. So we might need a few more vines. What do we need to make the raft? We got enough for another one? Alright, doesn't matter then. As long as I got enough for another one, I don't care. Let's jump onto our raft, and our next goal is going to be to paddle on out. We might spend a day or two over here. What I want to do is I want to get as many seashells as I can, and we're going to head straight west from here. I think we should be able to make it to the next island over without having to build another raft. I may salvage this one once we get there. But for now, things are running very well for us. I like that island over there. It's isolated. It's calm. It basically lacks anything that's a threat to us. It's a little bit small, and so I think what, once mosquito season gets here... Mosquito season is the same thing as volcano season, though. So we're probably just going to leave the island and stay mobile for a while. Once mosquito season gets here. We're also going to need to stockpile a lot of bamboo and a lot of vines. Like, holy shit quantities of bamboo, because we're going to have to make a bunch of cloth sails. We're basically going to stay at sea during the volcano season. And then every time the volcanoes subside, we're going to go to shore. We're going to grab what few things we need. And then we're going to go back to exploring. It's just going to be very, very nomadic for a bit. Because I don't want to blow up our base. We have more mangroves over here. I don't really care. That's the thing. is like The mangroves could be just about anywhere. But what I really need to see from all this... are water beefaloes. And we haven't found them just yet. They'll give us dookie. I mean, I can get into fights with monkeys. The problem is that that's really, really kind of hard on your sanity. So when you mess with the monkeys, you tend to get a little bit of the old crazies. Let's put into shore here for right now. We're going to need a lot of seashells. We're also going to need a lot of wood, so I may deforest a lot of these mangroves too. Or maybe we'll get the coconut trees. Yeah, we'll get the palm trees going. Maybe that'll work. Maybe that'll work. Let's go ahead and play a little game of grab axe right now. Might also be a smart idea to kill off some of the bees and get some of the stingers for boat repair kits. Yeah, that might be what I do next. For now, though, let's stick to one thing at a time. Seashells, palm trees, that's going to be the order of the day. Then we'll fight with some bees after a little bit. It might be... It might be risky. I don't know. We gotta get their stingers, though. We use them as the... I think we use them as the needle for our repair kits. Perfect. All these coconuts will be born back to our island. Killing one bee at a time, though, would not upset me that much. I mean, it, the only problem with the bees is they can be a little bit difficult to target, and the F key doesn't seem to be working right now. Yeah, there's a stinger. That's looking good. Got a couple of limpets for right now. We got enough food to even out any damage that they do. This is, I'm proposing that this be a very, very long trip. We're in kind of Swiss Family Robinson, or Robinson Caruso mode here. Love Swiss Family Robinson when I was a kid. Liked it a lot. It was cheesy and definitely religiously themed, but I liked it a lot. It was a good book. Very, very solid book. Robinson Caruso, I don't remember too well, but Swiss Family Robinson, I have a great recollection of. They built their house in the big tree inland. I forget what drove them off the beach. They left the beach for some reason, and I can't remember why. But, like, the first day when they land, they swim back out to the boat, and they recover a bunch of ammunition, which never seems to run out the entire book. I don't know why the ship had, like, thousands of rounds of ammunition on it, but hey, it did. We're not questioning it right now. It's enough for eight trees. I'd like to get a lot more than that, though. Let me get another axe so that we can continue to chop unimpeded. We've got some major civic projects going on right now. 
There's a lot of sand over here too, which would be pretty good. No seashells, strangely enough. I don't know if the monkeys pick them up or where the seashells are at, but... Yeah, the problem with the bees is they've got an attack range that's really, really gnarly. And they're difficult to click. And the F key does not appear to be working when I fight with the bees. That's the other part that I'll add here. Yeah. Bees can whittle you down. It's okay, though, because we got lots of food and lots of downtime, so we should be able to take a little bit of a hit here for the long term, I think. Shit. Monkeys, I cannot deal with your shenanigans right now, I swear to God. Honey is also fantastic. If you hold on to honey, I think you can make candy out of it. And I think it restores a lot of your HP or something like that. We got enough bee stingers to last for a bit. Not a lot. We're definitely going to have to track down some seashells, though. Maybe this island over here. It's got no monkeys. I'm thinking maybe the monkeys depleted this one. I don't want to blame it on them if they're, it's not their fault, though. Sometimes it's just an island that has no shells on it, and you got a deal. Got another gold rock over here. Could definitely use some more, use some more refuse as well. Maybe. Oh yeah. We got hounds coming in. Now would be the time to camp out next to the monkeys. The monkeys should help us out, as far as I know, with the hounds. Act as a little barrier between us and them. So if we run the hounds in circles long enough, we might be able to get her done. Oh, we got a little battle going on over there between the snakes and the spiders. Interesting little debacle. I'd be interested to see if I could get some silk out of that situation. It looks like the monkeys and the spiders don't naturally fight with one another. Well, maybe they do. Either way, someone's going to help us out with all this. So, oh, it's a full moon. We don't even need the fire. Okay. Well. Spiders can help out with hounds, too. Should be able to kill him nice and easy. No problem. Aside from that, though, our health is a little bit low. What else attacks? Okay, so there we go. Oh, yeah, look at that. There's two of them. Okay. Maybe they won't go after the monkeys. I thought that they would. Huh. There we go. Now they went after the monkeys. We're good. Those hounds are about to have a real bad day. The only downside to this course of action is that they are going to loot any teeth or bone fragments that fall off of them. Perfect. Couldn't have asked for a better resolution. This island might actually be a great place to go whenever there's hounds in the vicinity so we can run them off real fast. I'm going to build a new boat over here. Our old one's looking a little bit shambly. Cool. And now we got to go out here. The final thing we're going to accomplish is we're going to grab ourselves a whole bunch of random coral so we can build some limestone. But other than that, that's going to be the end of our episode here today. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me at the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Don't Starve Shipwrecked. I look forward so much to seeing you in the next episode. We're giving it another try. I would love to survive the summer season and, you know, actually accomplish something here. So that's what I'm attempting to do. I will see you all there. Hi, do everybody.